Hey, and welcome back, and thanks for joining me again today. Uh, today we're going to continue Matthew chapter 6, uh, verse 13. Uh, yesterday, and do not lead us into temptation. We covered that yesterday. Today I want to speak here, uh, but deliver us from the evil one. And so Jesus is acknowledging uh, the fact that there is an evil one and letting people know that uh, in your prayer, your daily prayer, is, is that it's quite okay to pray that God would deliver us from uh, the evil one, from the influence of the evil one. Uh, and this uh, may uh, you know, be in various different ways that sometimes uh, the evil one may present himself in the company that we keep. You know, there's an old saying, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And sometimes we can be, uh, you know, really uh, courageous in the area of wanting to witness to people. And, but we need to make sure that we are strong in God ourselves first because the person with the stronger influence will be the one who will end up on top. And so this is what happens. Their influence over the top of yours and uh, before long, we end up finding ourselves uh, not being who we used to be. And so here it's saying, but deliver us from the evil one. You know, Jesus prayed uh, a very similar prayer for his disciples in John chapter 17, verse 14 and 15. I just want to speak on those two verses now. And Jesus said, I have given them your word and the, the word world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. And so Jesus is saying, uh, praying to God, uh, see what Jesus taught, he actually practiced. John chapter 17 is, is really uh, this prayer in action that he prayed himself uh, to God the Father. And so Jesus is saying, he's praying to God for his disciples and for his followers to say, you know, that this world really hates them. And, you know, part of him is like, it'd be good if we could just take the ones that get saved, just take them out of the world so they're not going to be tempted and, and led by the evil one and uh, the influence of the evil one over their life. But uh, Jesus is saying, uh, Father, I pray, you know, not, we're not, it's not about uh, avoiding conflict. It's about being empowered through it. And this is what I believe this is speaking about here today. But deliver us from the evil and deliver us from the evil influences in this life that we live. And so this is something that Jesus is teaching the disciples to pray and teaching the people that were around him when he was teaching this and saying, hey, this is, you got to include this in your prayer life, in your everyday prayer life these very things and deliver us from the evil one, deliver us, protect us and guard us from these evil influences that are so dressed up at times to look like things that may be righteous, that may be good, that really aren't. And so this area of discernment, I believe, comes into play here that we could be praying, Lord, I ask that for, for discernment that uh, Lord, that you would show me, Lord God, if I start taking a wrong turn or start uh, building wrong relationships or friendships, Lord, that you would show me. And so, you know, Jesus is saying, praying here, uh, deliver us from the evil one. And uh, so some people just say, you know, that's just from the devil himself. Just pray that God will keep you away from the devil. But, you know, these influences are in many different ways, through people, through movies we watch, music, uh, music we listen to, uh, places we go, things we do, uh, it's just all around. So anyway, be blessed and I will see you tomorrow and have a great day. Bye-bye.